We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so you guys know what that mean means. Once again, we're talking about the Pissy Pied Piper, okay? So what's going down is this. If you guys do not know, R. Kelly went to social media yesterday and he basically announced to everyone that he was going on an overseas tour and that he'd be performing in New Zealand, Australia, and Sri Lanka. So this is causing a lot of controversy online. But one person who's really pissed off about the situation is Asriel's father, Angelo Cleary. If you guys remember Asriel, it was a young girl in the documentary that the parents basically allowed their daughter to go off with R. Kelly because allegedly R. Kelly was supposed to be mentoring her and they haven't seen their daughter since, okay? So he's really pissed off about the situation. So this is what Angelo Cleary has to say. Check this out. So Angelo Cleary says he's pissed that R. Kelly will get to perform in Australia, New Zealand, and Sri Lanka. He tells us that performers in those countries need to address why they are welcoming R. Kelly with open arms and presumably wallets. R. Kelly announced his new King of R&B tour on Tuesday. Though he didn't share any specific dates, Angelo says there's no excuse for supporting the singer in the wake of the Lifetime scathing documentary. He's taken personal offense to the tour, seeing as how Asriel is still with Kelly and not in touch with her parents. He also feels that bottom line, Mute R. Kelly should be a global movement. So this entire situation to me is a trip. And one thing I did notice is that when I went to R. Kelly's page, and I don't know if this was his verified page, but when you go to go click on anything that had anything to do with the tour, they have been removed from social media. So they are definitely muting this man. Anytime he posts anything, it comes right down. The page that was initially posting the tour and all that information has been removed from Twitter. So they're not playing with R. Kelly. But my thing is this, okay? This man has yet to be brought up on charges. The police have gone to go check on these girls. The girls say they don't want to leave. They said they're fine. They're not being held captive. They want to be there. And let's not forget their daughter is 21 years old, okay? And when this situation went down, these parents knew about the R. Kelly rumors. They knew that R. Kelly, you know, was messing with young girls. But again, because they wanted their daughter to be a star and because they didn't care about somebody else's child, now I'm supposed to cry tattooed tears at your 21-year-old daughter who's been with R. Kelly all these years, who's allegedly brainwashed, doesn't want to come home. No, I'm not going to do that because you should have done your due diligence from jump and not a allowed her to even go with R. Kelly. I mean, how about that, okay? So I find it really funny that the same man who allowed his daughter to basically, you know, go off with R. Kelly to help her music career is now outraged that countries are letting him perform his music. At the end of the day, you don't control anything in other countries. That'd be like Sri Lanka coming here to America and telling us who we can allow to perform and what we should do and what movements we should stand behind. They don't control shit over here. So why would you think that this mute R. Kelly movement would be anything but a social media movement in America? Like, people overseas don't give a damn about this whole mute R. Kelly. Half of them didn't even watch Surviving R. Kelly. So I just find that very delusional that he thinks that this mute R. Kelly should be a global movement and not just an American movement. Why? Because your daughter is still with R. Kelly and she's refusing to get a hold of her parents and, you know, let you guys know that she's doing okay. After a while, you know, I have to give this entire situation the side eye. You know, this whole documentary, all the people who are involved, they just are all getting the side eye from me. So much stuff has come out since then that I, at this point in time, everybody and their mama knows especially on instagram i am over surviving r kelly i just am i'm not saying r kelly's innocent because lord knows he's not okay he's the pissy pie piper a lot of these people involved in this documentary they're not as innocent as they try to proclaim either okay a lot of them knew what was up but they didn't care because they saw the glitz and glamour of stardom that they chose to not use their better judgment and when you're a parent it is your job as a parent to protect your child not to pimp your child out Point blank, period. So this whole global movement that he wants to get started, I doubt it's going to get started. But I will say this, okay? Now, if R. Kelly does go to Australia, if he shows up in Sri Lanka, 
I don't want to hear shit about R. Kelly done hit me in a closet and only fed me rice and R. Kelly did this to me because at this point in time, there's so much shit I hear about R. Kelly. I don't want to hear nothing else about R. Kelly doing something to a new victim, okay? There should be absolutely no more new R. Kelly victims. I don't want to hear from no more new victims unless the shit went down in the early 2000s to the 90s, okay? Because when you got grown folks supposedly being, you know, manipulated by R. Kelly in damn 2017 and 2016 and then you're like, well, damn, your ass was 33 years old and you went off with R. Kelly even though you knew his background you knew his track record so like I said a lot of folks in that documentary get the side eye from me I'm over this whole documentary I'm over this whole R. Kelly situation you know and it's really crazy because if he's not being charged with anything we all know the man can't read he can't write he don't know arithmetic so what is he supposed to do the man is an entertainer. He's a performer. So what is he supposed to do? I'm sure he has bills to pay, lights, food, everything else. So what is he supposed to do if he cannot perform in America? He's not in jail. He hasn't been charged with anything. The next step is for him to go overseas. I'm not shocked at all. Hell, he was performing in Ethiopia a few years ago. Y'all remember this damn video. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America. America. All right, y'all seen that video of him singing in Ethiopia, trying to get them damn Ethiopian women to get a damn passport and come to America. So again, I'm not surprised at all that he's trying to do a, you know, overseas tour because he's basically been blacklisted in America. You know, so this entire situation is a hot damn mess. But like I said, the more that comes out about this whole surviving R. Kelly, the more I give all these folks a damn side eye, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Pissy Pie Piper and Azriel's daddy being pissed off and thinking that the Mute R. Kelly movement should be a global movement, not just an American movement. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.